Hey everyone, so I'm in Panama. Today is my second day here in Panama. I came in yesterday, early in the morning, and it was about a 6.30 a.m. arrival time, which was fairly early, but the Stem Cell Institute had somebody waiting at the gate for me with my name on it, who picked me up right as I came out of the gate and escorted me quickly through customs and all that stuff at the airport that can be a big pain in the butt. So I was able to get out of the airport very fast, always knew where to go. Uh, it was it was very refreshing to travel to a foreign country and get expedited through the process like that. So kudos to them for that. Uh, we did get dropped off at the hotel at about 8.30, 9-ish, and that was a little early for check-in. So we kind of had to park our bag and then go out and get breakfast. And then we came back and were able to check in our hotel room. We had a nice packet waiting for us which had some things about stem cells. You know, what does it mean and where it came from, as well as some history and why it works. But in addition to the packet, they had some other things we could do to enjoy our time here in Panama, such as restaurants and other sites to go see. So it was a good packet and we read through the whole thing. And in addition, they had my schedule in there, so what my schedule was going to be for the week. So on Monday, I had a consultation, which is today. And then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I have a treatment plan set up. So today was my consultation. So I went there at about 6.30 this morning, and luckily it's in the same building as the Hilton. So it's only about a five minute walk, but it is a little bit confusing on how to get there, not a big deal. But you just kind of have to go down, go into a different set of elevators that's secured, and then go up. You have to actually have this special card to scan to get to the Stem Cell Institute. Now, before I scheduled the appointments, I asked specifically if my girlfriend could accompany me during the visits, and they said yes, no problem. So I brought her to my appointment, but upon getting there, they told me she could not go into the appointment with me. So this was a little bit disappointing. I hate it when somebody tells me something ahead of time, especially when money's involved, and I send them the money, and then afterwards they try to change the terms. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but again, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. In addition to that, you need this special card to go in and out of the Stem Cell Institute, and we went there together with a single card. So when, I, when they said that she couldn't join me, uh, this kind of created a problem because there was no point for her to be there and it made sense for her just to go back to the hotel room. But because we only have one card, and if I gave her my card, then I couldn't leave, uh, we had this problem. So she was originally just gonna have to wait there in the lobby, but we talked the receptionist into giving us a second card so she could actually leave, and then I could meet up with her later. The other issue we had was if you watch my previous videos was that on Friday, the day before we flew out here, they sent me the final contract, which was wrong about my treatment. So it had the wrong treatment plan in it. So I promptly emailed them and informed them this was the wrong treatment, but it was, of course, the day before I left, so we weren't able to figure that out. I was hoping when I got here that they would have that straightened out already. But when the receptionist gave me the contract again to sign, it was still the wrong treatment plan. So. This took about 5-10 minutes to straighten out, but finally we straightened it out. Soon after that, a nurse came to get me, where she checked my height, weight, took some blood, and checked my blood pressure. And then shortly after that, the doctor came in for my doctor-patient consultation. And I really like my doctor. I feel like she, you know, sometimes when you go to a doctor's visit, you don't really feel like the doctor cares that much. Um, if you've been to a lot of doctor visits, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I got a good vibe from the doctor. I felt like she really cared about my well-being and was trying to do the best to figure out what would be the best treatment for me. So we've talked about this ahead of time. So I scheduled two injections into my back, one into my left hip, and one into my left knee as well as the 120 million IV drip. But after talking to the doctor for a little while, I decided I would also add two more injections to my right shoulder because I really have this bad tendonitis in my right shoulder where I can't lift my arm. I was hoping maybe the 120 million IV drip would assist with that, but I figured, you know, I'm here. I might as well not take any chances. I might as well just pony up and get those two injections into my right, my right shoulder just to be safe. So the appointment in all today lasted about an hour 
And my understanding is all the appointments throughout the week will last about an hour. So not too much time you'll spend in there and there's plenty of time for you to see the sights or get some good food outside of your treatment time here. All right, everyone, so that is my update for my appointment today, and I will update you on my future appointments and what happens with them later.